Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> uh, do another, figured I'd do that top 10 for you that you wanted. Uh, some people want it, not everybody, but some. Uh, top 10 preferred. Uh, it's going to be like summer, spring type one. Uh, although, <laughs> brings a bitch around here. <laughs> she comes and goes. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking foot and a half of snow yesterday and today, so it's cold and snowy in the spring. <laughs> but for most of the world, <laughs> these are, you could rock these now. Right now, it still might be a little cold for us here, but uh, northeast of Canada, northeast states, New York, Boston, still might be a little cold. But uh, anyway... Uh, let's start. Um, I'll start with my 10th one I like the best. Uh, and I'm not going to go into big reviews of them. Some of them I've already reviewed. Some of them I haven't. So uh, I will. I'll just give you a quick little rundown. Oh, New Brunswick, where I'm from. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just give you a quick little notes on it, and that's it. Uh if the box has got a write-up on it, I'll read the write-up. But uh, the first one is Pacific Waves by Preferred. They're all by Preferred, so I'm not going to say that again. Uh, their impression of Bath and Body Works fresh water. Let's read what it says. Does it have? Yes, it has a write-up. A crisp, cool fragrance, like a hike overlooking the rocky coastline. Notes of invigorating, invigorating bergamot. Make this aquatic cologne stand out with its fragrant use of aromatic woody oak moss and a splash of revitalizing water. Yeah. Uh, just a citrus aquatic sense. Uh, nothing special. The only reason it's number 10 and not higher is uh, I just got it. So I haven't really had a chance to wear it. I wore it a couple times just around the house for testing. Uh, kind of looks like the uh, Bath and Body Works bottles. Very aquatic. Uh, a lot of citrus off the top with it, and then it kind of goes really melon, aquatic melon. Forget the name of that note they use, Maloney or something like that. It, it gives it a very aquatic vibe. Uh, Really, it's a standard aquatic. There's nothing that's overly great about it. I just like the scent. It's it's a nice scent. It's a nice aquatic scent. Uh, how much was this one? Got this one for three fifty. So I know the. Uh, they're not expensive, Bath and Body Works in general anyway, but 350 is better than 30. So, number 10. Uh, longevity, I, I never, I, I can't tell you anything about compliments, but I imagine just, it'll be compliment getting it. It's, it's that type of scent. Longevity, about three hours. That's a, that, I don't really, summer scents to me are stuff you have to reapply daily, two or three, four times a day. Uh, most of them are just aquatic, uh, citrus-based, white floral-based. Thank you, Aqua de Geo. And yes, Aqua de Geo is on here, the, the dupe. Um, as much as, I mean, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it, but it has made my top list because I find myself wearing it a lot because it's an easy dumb reach in the summer. So, But anyway, yeah, what I was getting at, summer scents are pretty... Uh, most of these are going to last three or four hours. Most of your authentics are only going to last about five. This is the way summer scents are. They're fleeting. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, most of these are going to last three hours. If they last any more length of time, I'll let you know. But I'm not getting into the all that stuff. Just take that with the video that most of them are going to last about three hours. Project for about an hour. None of them are real beast modes. A couple of them are okay. I'll get into that. But uh, all right, well, let's just get right into number 10 or number nine. Uh, this is Reclaimed Eau de Toilette 
their version of John Barbartos Otterson Pure. Same thing, I just got it, so it's only at number nine. Uh, not a huge fan of Artisan Pure. Never really was. Not so much the smell. I found the Authentic didn't last any longer than this or project any better than this. This might actually project a little better. Uh, citrus, and you get some herbaceousness in there with like a thyme and basil, I believe. With a nice woody, musky dry down. Uh, very aromatic. I, I love the smell, actually. I should never say I didn't like it. I just couldn't get past the the price they wanted for it because it only lasted about three hours on my skin, maybe four. This, about the same, about three hours. This is the one of the ones that projected for about an hour and projected really good, surprisingly, because the authentic didn't. Uh, so... I'd recommend this one. I don't do it often. You know I don't, but I would probably recommend this over the Authentic. Does this have a little write-up? Yes. <clears throat> Radio voice. Reclaim is crafted for the man who is authentic. A revitalizing fragrance with refreshing citrus fruit infused with sweet woody ginger. The rustic characteristic is enhanced by adding warm sensual musk. So like I said, uh, a soft, aromatic... Musky Aquatic. Very nice scent, actually. I'm glad this one performs better than the Authentic on me, anyway. <laughs> the next one is one that doesn't get talked about a lot in the community at all. Uh, which is unfortunate, because it is a nice scent. It's nothing fancy. Again, you can pick up... Geez, I think you can pick this one up, the Authentic, for $20. So... But again, this one was only five when I bought it. So, same 15 bucks, and it works as well as the authentic. It does. Oh, pardon me. This is charcoal. Their impression of Kenneth Cole Black. Uh, so, you got it right up. Yep. <clears throat> charcoal blurs the lines between black and white. This unique fragrance is dark and bright, spicy and aromatic, woody and aquatic, all at the same time. And it really is. It really is. It's a very clean scent, but uh, not a soapy scent. You know the difference? You know what I mean? Like a, almost has a very fresh out of the dryer laundry sheet type vibe to it. Um... Spiced ginger and uh, sweet orange off the top is what I get mostly, and then it's just aquatic. I don't melon maybe I don't know. Uh, again, another mild musky dry down. So they uh, say there's incense in here. It does have a ton of the musky smoky smell. Uh, not a bad scent at all if you can get this or the Authentic. They're both pretty much the same. The Authentic lasts about four hours. So you're not really... No whole lot of difference between this and the Authentic. Uh, not a bad scent. Not talked about enough at all as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Kenneth Cole's an okay house, but that's probably their best that I've smelled. I'm sure there's others. Uh, next up we have... <laughs> this is one I did a long time ago, man. Uh, it's called Venetian Poor Home Indigo Night. They say it's their impression of a Versace Dylan Blue. That's a mistake. And it wasn't just this bottle. So I got like three of them and they're all the same. This is their impression, not of Dylan Blue, but of Versace Poor Home. And you can tell right from the bottle and the color of the juice, it's their... You see, I've worn this one quite a bit. I've had it for a couple years now. Uh, I've got another two bottles of this, too. <laughs> lavender. I get, like, lavender and sage and, and pepper, but it's not listed in it that i ever seen, but I do get a bit of a pepper vibe from it. It could be just the sage, but... Kind of a spicy aquatic. Uh... Check my review out if you want to see, but it, it's not bad. A little bit more of a spicier, more of a grown-up aquatic, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but 
That's what we'll see. Well, whatever number we're on. <laughs> Is it one, two, three, four? So number six. Uh, Aqua H2O, their version of Aqua DeGio. You know it. You smelled it. I've got three or four bottles of this too, because I wear it a lot. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of it, it's so easy to wear in the summer. Especially, you know, I like wearing a lot of tank tops and shorts in the summer when it gets hot. You just fucking go crazy with it. You can't overapply it that I ever have. Uh, it's a little powerful at first, especially the authentic. But it, 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 I find the projection on it, this and the authentic, not super bad after about a half hour. So, uh, you know, it's. Slightly, slightly sweet citruses with white florals and white musk and the granddaddy, I guess, of the aquatic scents. You know what it smells like. You don't need me to describe it. If you don't, pick up a bottle of this or the authentic. Can't go wrong. It's an easy, easy, dumb reach. Um, number five. Seven C's, our impression of. Versace Mano Fresh. I don't have Mano Fresh anymore. I did. Uh, I just had a small bottle. I got in a Christmas Versace gift set a couple years ago. Uh, again, just uh, sl slightly sweet. Citrus sweet. Very citrusy off the top. This one is holy crap. You can almost smell the lemon and orange. Um, star fruit gives it a slight salty sweetness to it uh, with a cedar base. So it gives it a very smooth, musky cedar base. They all use like white musk, you know what I mean? They're just part of the aquatic, really. Uh, slightly salty, slightly sweet, musky aquatic. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, get in there. This is one that got talked about a bit and then people forgot about it, I think. It's a real good summer scent. A real good, easy wearing. Again, most of these are non-offensive, non-offensive scents. Uh, this is Basic Impulse. Their impression of Amber Combi and Fitch. Let's have it right up. Yes. Basic impulse evokes the feeling of sharp wind whipping over the white crest of deep ocean waves. Gin and tonic essence mixed with violet, pepper, and suede for an intoxicating fresh scent made for fearless captain of the night. Captain of the night. Uh, I really like this one. It, it, it almost made my top three. I love that gin and tonic. You get gin and tonic off the top. Boom. As you can see, I've worn a lot of this one. You know I have a lot of cologne, so when I wear a lot... Not so much a lot, but you have to put on a lot because this is pretty fleeting. If you don't put on a good 15 or so sprays, I'm not even joking. It uh, tends to go away really quick. Uh, not a projection beast at all. This one out of all of them, probably the worst projecting. Uh, but one of the nicest smelling. So... Really hit that gin and tonic note. Really comes out in it. Uh, has a melon note in it too. For that aquatic feel. So it's got a bit of a sweet. Bit of a very, very tiny sweet. Very minute sweet gin and tonic. Mostly gin and tonic. Which is very nice. Um, where are we at here now? Number three. Just got it right up. Next Gen, our impression of Yves Saint Laurent, Y. I don't have Y, I have Y Eau de Parfum. This is pretty close. Eau de Parfum's a little darker, richer, lasts a little longer. Uh, but this isn't bad. Uh, they got it right up? Yes, they do. A crisp, cool fragrance. That's a modern version of vigor and vitality. Reminiscent of a hike in a dewy forest. Next Gen will keep you reaching new heights. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's the box. That's the bottle. 
I know everybody's gonna hate me and people fucking, oh, it's fucking generic. It's generic. I love this shit. I love the eau de perfume. This uh, knockoff of the eau de toilette. Oh, I love this shit. This is one of the ones that lasted a lot longer than the three hours. You have a five hours on it. Project and projected really good for about an hour. Uh, yeah, it's really nice, guys. Citrus and ginger and amber. Very non-offensive, very generic. But I guarantee you wear it. People, especially ladies, are going to like it. That's the way it goes. Um, number two. Number two has grown on me. Uh, I didn't like the authentic. I actually had a bottle of it. Then I got rid of it. Traded it on a Facebook group swap. Because I didn't like it. Then I got a uh, sample, a couple samples of it from shoppers. Wore it. Started liking it. Sometimes, you know, it's funny. Sometimes a clone does that. A sense. You don't like it at first. And you wear it a few more times. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. And then you come like, yeah, I really, and I really like this one now. Um, anyway, let's not keep you in suspense. This is called Ballistic Missile. Oh, to toilet. Their impression of Prada Luna Rosa for men. <clears throat> Powered by the desire properties of exhilarating bitter orange, this aromatic cologne is infused with soothing lavender and cooling mint accords. Bursting with refreshing notes of ballistic missile will always hit its target. No, it's 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 a mint orange mint lavender balm. Most definitely. I've worn a little bit of it over the last little while. Uh soapy clean. The bitter orange right off the top goes away pretty quickly. It's very fleeting. It was the same way with the authentic. Uh and then that mint and lavender. And this is if you like lavender. This, with that mint and that lavender. Who is it soapy? It is clean smelling. It's deceptive too. Uh, same as the authentic. At least on me, my nose kind of olfactory fatigued this motherfucker quick. Like, like I, I put on... That was one of the reasons I, I, I kind of got disenchanted with the Authentic. I put on three or four good sprays, and I spent like a hundred some dollars on it. It was brand new when I bought it. No, you couldn't get it online at discounters yet. And I bought it retail. Put on three or four good sprays, because I love Prada stuff. Well, colognes. I'm not a big Prada or anything else, really. Just like the colognes. I love that lavender that, that almost every one of their colognes has. I really like that clean, soapy smell. And this had it, but my nose, for some reason, fucking bang. But half hour, 40 minutes, I couldn't smell it. And I'm like, I just spent fucking a hundred some dollars on this shit. No, son, no. So anyway, I swapped it. I can't remember what I swapped it for. Oh, it really doesn't matter. I can't remember. Uh, but I swapped it. Anyway, my nose would... And then when I got them a few samples, they had like four samples. So it was like 10 mils almost. So it was a pretty good decant. And uh, I wore it for a couple weeks straight, easy. And though I couldn't smell it on me, a few people told me it smelled good. And it was one of those ones when I'd go to do my laundry, it's all I could smell was this. So obviously it was just my nose blocking that shit out. It's like, nope, too much lavender. <laughs> so, but uh, a lavender balm, do not over apply. This is the exact same way. You're going to think it's gone in like 20 minutes. It's not. It's there. Trust me. Uh, three or four good sprays of this. Last you three or four good hours. Projects not beastly at all, but it does project pretty good for about an hour. So, number two. 
Number one, y'all know what number one is. You know my favorite clone, next to Fahrenheit of all time. Ignites. Their impression of uh, Christian Dior Sauvage. Ignites is for the rogue explorer, ready to light up the night on fire. Raw amber notes fused with citrus and black pepper to craft a fragrance that, that triggers the daredevil in every man. <laughs> uh, no, it's a Savage clone. Pretty good one. A lot lighter than Savage. Um, definitely a lot lighter than my EDP. But very similar. Pepper. Oh. Pepper, citrus, and ambroxan is what you're going to get. I get a lot of pepper. I'm going to spray this one. I love it so much. Just make sure I had nothing on. Again, I think I said in my review, I could be wrong. The spray on this, you might want to double or triple it. For every one, put two or three because it's a small spray. It doesn't give out a lot of juice. So basically, three of the sprays, so that's equivalent to one of the authentic, give or take. Yeah. It's a slightly lighter version of Sauvage, very nice for the summer. Very nice for the summer. Uh, soft, spicy pepper with uh, that umbroxan in the background from start to finish. That citrus off the top. Mm. Mm. Crowd pleasing. <laughs> so you notice most of my list is generically crowd pleasing summer scents. I love them. Uh, that way I love them that way I don't I don't wear any fancy shit in the summer <laughs> uh, summer is definitely not my favorite time though for scents because they, they, they all like I said they're 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 almost boring because <laughs> they're so similar usually aquatic white florals get the odd one like I said throws in well like Sauvage a little pepper or, or uh, Kenneth Cole Black little spice you know or you know but most of them are just clean smelling aquatically clean smelling scents um uh, out of them all what i'm probably going to wear the most this year i know it sounds funny it's probably either going to be that because i love the gin and tonic uh that because I kind of like that sagey feel it has and definitely this I'm gonna get another bottle of this probably two or three more yeah this one's only 350 um, I really love that minty clean smell uh, almost like when you get out of a shower and then brush your teeth and all the smells mix in the in the room together the bathroom very nice scent and of course my Sauvage well I wear the dupe a lot in the summer because it's lighter um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, like I said, summer's not my favorite time for scents because they're all relatively the same. I'm not the same, but in the same vein, I kind of like late fall and winter better for scents because they're more, you know, you can wear a lot of heavier, thicker scents in the winter. I really love, I, I love gourmands and orientals. I love them. Uh, Opium, uh, foreplay, um, polo double black, um, Sauvage Eau de Perfume, uh, it's just a lot of scents that are just, you know, different and I love them fucking gourmands and Oriental heavy oriental spiced gourmands and stuff. Yeah, man, that's my jam right there. But so the summer I, I but I rock a lot of Just cooler shit in the summer, but you wear what you want. I've always said that I don't like classifying scents You want to wear fucking Obsession in the middle of the summer I've done it. I'm not gonna do it again. 
It's pretty potent, but you can do it. It's your call. Nobody's telling you you can't. Just what I will say is with them heavier scents, I'm going to wear them in the summer. Try to wear them in the summer night. And like half of what you'd normally apply. So most people go about three, four sprays. I'd go one or two with those scents in the summer, especially if it's hot. Because uh, they tend to overpower everything in not a good way. So sorry about the beard, guys. I haven't shaved in a couple days. I haven't felt like it happens. I love shaving, but I just haven't felt like it. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's your. Uh, <clears throat> that was my ten summer list from Preferred. I'll come back with a ten winter list from Preferred. Maybe next week, uh, and then I'll do a top ten Preferred. It'll be most of these, of course, but might be one or two different that just didn't fit into the the category for me. But I still love. Um, yeah. I've got a bunch of, try to get them here, like, well, there's a, there's a wide perfume sample, and, like, these are some of the samples, I guess, oh, yeah, now you won't come out, you know, you fall out on your own, these are some of the samples I got, and, uh, I'm thinking about, just kind of doing a giveaway of a sample or two to people. Um, let me know if you watch this video and you want to be in a giveaway. You have to be in Canada, guys. Uh, not because I... It's just so hard to ship internationally from Canada for alcohol-based products. Uh, and fucking expensive. Like, I could ship that little thing in Canada for, you know, about five... Six bucks. Shipped to the States would be like fucking 20. It's a lot of cake, man. But I, I do want to give back to as best I can. Uh, and right now, I, I just I can't fucking ship to the States or overseas. Especially overseas. Holy fuck. I bought a cologne once from overseas. The shipping was more than the cologne. <laughs> but if you're in Canada, let me know. Uh, or if you got somebody in Canada... You, I could ship it to, and they could ship it to you if they want it. That's fine. But um, if you're in Canada, let me know, and I'll, I'll uh, maybe do a little video of quick little video what I have, and you can tell me what you want. Pick two or three of them, and I'll ship them to you. How's that? All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.